All righty. It says we're live, but sometimes it takes a minute before it actually goes properly live. Um, in case we are, good evening, everybody. I hope you're all doing really well out there in the land of... Good evening, everybody. I hope you're doing well out there in the land of... YouTube. Uh, you're, did I do you, it right or no, no? you did it spot on in terms of cadence. It mm. was your temporary accent squeezed in. You were like, hello, everybody in the land of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so it is uh, a beautiful, rainy Irish evening here tonight. Uh, I just got back from a long fucking day, but uh, nothing better than coming back from a long day than having some time. You had a very long day while I was away, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Making sure that the couch is still comfortable and napping. <laughs> yes. I was like, baby, you give the place spruce up while I'm gone. Because, you know. In all fairness, I did tidy up the area I intended to nap in. Okay. Um, there's a sob sit on Radical's channel. Live, is it? Or That's really, really cool. I love Radical. Um, good to see Lisa Doran and Kenya Brown. Actually, I do need to message... The lady who sent this absolutely amazing box of uh, gifts for us to check out. Um, I'm going to message her right now over on Instagram. Instagram's probably the best place to get me at the moment. Um, uh, here we go. We are live right now. Um, and we have some news, some updates as well uh, coming up. So, uh, Chili De Castro. Oh, yeah. Those emails the other night were fake, as we found out. Um, it was Frank Perry messaged us, and you spotted it and rang me and was like, hey, did you see Frank's message? It Those those emails were fake. So my apologies for that. Um, I, I guess I did jump on it a bit too quick. Looking at in it, all, it's fucking hard to see the difference, I though. I was about to say, in all fairness, we both looked at the email and didn't cop it. No, neither of us did. And my mom. My mom, and she's she's good. Like, she looked at it. She didn't see it. I didn't see it. Yeah. Because when you look at it, it is it is hard to see the difference. Like, And um, I think because of the way it was put, it looks normal. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, looks, I mean... I, it doesn't I, look out of place. No, not at all. Like a few, and, and also the the content, like a few weeks back, I read out um, that email he sent me about smashing my face into the ground. So it was like really similar content as well. Um, yeah. uh, oh, you sent me an email from your new account. Awesome. I'll check that out. And actually, yeah, Project Const Constitution, uh, Colin also messaged me uh, about it. He sent me an email as well. But I didn't, it was literally just from people messaging me, telling me otherwise I never would have known. Um, also, Project Constitution has been helping me a lot uh, off air. Um, I won't get into the specifics, but uh, definitely check out Project Constitution's channel because there's going to be some good shit on there. Yeah. Um, uh, also, Chile uh, very favorably looked at me the other day and sent me what I did confirm to be a real email this time. And I will in future, obviously, um, a link to his new video that okay. isn't released yet. So yeah, we're going to show that at some point. Um, maybe today, maybe today, if I have time, we'll see. Um, anyway, so I got this uh, message about Oh, Jeff Brown says, and before you start dissing American snacks, I have two words, mushy peas. Excuse me, sir. Mushy peas are a glorious gift from the ether. I do like them, but I can see how people would be No, like, I get it. I get it. If you haven't these? grown up with it, like yeah. I, one of the things that I am going to make if, so Chloe's working the next three days, I think you're off Sunday. Yeah. Um, and Sunday we're having a chill day. I'm not. I probably won't stream unless something comes up. I have something fucking amazing in the pipe work, don't I? Yeah. yeah. Where did you see it? Uh, potentially collaborating with a massive YouTuber. I'm talking 750,000 subscriber YouTuber, millions upon millions of views. Like we're looking at doing a collaboration. Um, and I think you know this. This channel is going to take a turn it's going to change a lot i'm still going to be doing a lot of the same kind of stuff um but uh yeah it's going to change as for mushy peas 
I on this coming Sunday, I am going to make you a medieval dish. What's it called? It's called salt pork peas pottage. Now I know you're not a pork fan, so I'm going to swap it out for bacon. Yes. Basically, peas pottage is you get a, a pot mm -hmm. and you seal it. You put in peas, um, a brine of some description, different. In this particular case, I'll put some fresh mint from the garden and some fresh rosemary or thyme, mm -hmm. uh, salt, um, pepper. And some people put cloves in. I've had it with cloves. I don't particularly like it. And then you top it off with a little bit of salt pork. You seal it and then you bake it and you get this beautiful mushy pea type thing. It's it's delicious. It's really nice. I will Usually served with lamb. Give it but, a go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. How's the puppy? She's great. Do you want to grab the puppy and we'll show? You won't believe how big she's gotten. Um, she's been a little terror, but like in a really sweet, fun way, not in a bad way at all. She's been, she's been, playful. she's been so playful and it's super sweet. Uh, here she is. Here's little Pippa. Pippa the pip squeak. Look how big she's gotten already. She just had her dinner, so her belly is super full. I love it when she gets a little round pup belly. Oh, it's adorable. There you go. Little little desk puppy. She's really fluffy because she just had a, a bath and a blow dry. So she's super fluffy. Um, yes, JL Warren, I will be swapping in bacon. And I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to use a nice smoked uh, bacon. There's a, a farm not far from here. Just one sec. Farm not far from here that does... Um, pork and bacon that's fed entirely on apple excuse me stop eating the letter i haven't read it yet you can have it after i read it um yeah so it's it's pork that the where the pigs are fed on apples and acorns and it's amazing so it's going to smoke bacon jl was saying not a pork fan but you'll swap it out for bacon bacon is pork not really though like bacon refers to well i mean it's all pork because it comes from a pig That's what he or as you saying. have said before but it all comes from a pork right a pork being a pig a pork right? excuse me what are you whinging for you want to go back to your bed okay Mwah, fluffy bop um paul loves rabbit meat i do too i haven't had rabbit in a long time I... one of my favorites is um pheasant and we have a lot of pheasants and a lot of fucking rabbits here i am quite odd when it comes to different meats there's certain things like i won't eat deer rabbit anything like that or anything kind of gamey. what if i was to told you that you have eaten deer and you just didn't know it do you remember how you said that last um uh spaghetti bolognese i made was it had like a stronger flavor and i said it was because of the porticello mushrooms or the porcini mushrooms yeah it was because it was from a. Uh, it was because it was from bambi's mom Bambi mom meat. Roadkill. That is not. Palmyra Productions for five bucks says, hello, the lovely Miss Demon. And well to you, Mr. Demon. Thank you so much indeed, my friend. Thank you. Good to see you. I hope you're doing really well. The puppy is getting really feckin' big. Correct. Yes. Michael John Dennis, I am a gorgeous hunk. Thank <laughs> you very much. Um, Project Constitution is deer all over the farm. I have plenty of deer meat for free. I, I quite like deer meat wouldn't be my first choice um actually i'm going to go to the english market tomorrow morning when i drop chloe to work and i'm going to get some bison steaks the english market is absolutely beautiful it's awesome and i'll actually film some for my shorts as well it's lovely i didn't i've been working there for a good few months now um in the city and i didn't <laughs> even know the english market was there it's yeah. kind of almost hidden and it's this yeah. kind of big inside it's victorian the the current market is victorian and it's the same as it was when the victorians ran it um it's like a farm market but a market has existed there since the vikings were there right across the street from there is um uh the peace park as we would call it bishop lucy park and it has the original viking walls of the city so there has been a settlement and a market in that exact spot since before the castle here was built five six hundred years before that um okay so uh michael john dennis's mom is from tolum uh, is from tremor no way i've got a lot of friends in tremor we had a lovely yeah. little date down in tremor a while back remember yeah tremor is very popular here if you want to go to the beach or a fun fair yeah it's lovely or the merries as we cork people call it jet lag 787 it says it just became a member love you irish demon and your lovely wife not wife yet getting there 
Will be. Will be. Um, thank you so much, Jet Lag. I really do appreciate that. Um, lads and lasses in the side chat, you fucking know what to do for a new member. Uh, in the market, there is a lady selling potatoes with sausage in it, and it's divine. I think that is um, O'Flynn's. They do a jack potato with yes, sausage in it. Yeah. It is absolutely amazing. They do gorgeous hot food. And I did hear that there's a lovely kind of cafe upstairs. Oh, the that. cafe upstairs is magnificent. Um, Sean O'Sullivan says, what's the cheapest type of nuts? Deer nuts. I got a quick dad joke for you before we get into the mukbang bukkake, as I like to call it. Uh, it is kind of like bukkake when you eat loads of stuff, though, because you just get it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. A bear walks into a bar. Mm -hmm. He breasts up to the bar. That's what we say in Cork as well. That's a very Cork saying. To breast up to the bar. He breasts up to the bar. He says, can I get a whiskey? And a Coke. And the barman says, yeah, of course you can. But what's with the big paws? He said, well, I'm a fucking bear. <laughs> no. I got one more, one more. Okay, one more. Roman walks into a bar. He sticks up two fingers and says, can I get five whiskeys, please? Do you get it? Yeah, because Roman numerals. Roman numerals, very good. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's get into this. Now, I've done this kind of stuff before. Um, we've both been to the States at different times, but I suppose I've been around the States a little bit more and got to try loads of different and things. And I was quite young when I went. Yeah, you were only a kid, weren't you? I was a kid, and I was, they were on kind of family holidays. Exactly. I suppose now my interests would be completely different. Instead of wanting to go to Disney, McDonald's and Disney, Disney and shit, yeah. I would kind of really want to see real America. Real America. I like, was so lucky where... that I had JL and Colin and uh, who else? She's so many people to mention that brought me to some really cool places like in West Virginia and Kentucky and all that kind of stuff. It was amazing. Um, but the food was a huge part of it. I loved the food in America. I'm a big foodie. Oh, major foodie. Major foodie. Um, Donna Burroughs says, your ring is lovely. Why, thank you. I think she was talking she about well. my skull ring. I got that for defending my brother. Oh, I thought she was talking about... Oh, well, your ring is nice the... too, like whatever. I've been told I have a very nice ring. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Anyway, so... Uh, oh, what was your joke, J uh, JL Warren? I didn't see yours. Hold on. Um, oh, yeah. The, the point was... Um, JL sent me stuff and Johnny O sent me stuff before. Mm -hmm. Some of it was so fucking weird, like with scorpions in it and shit like that. We had a load of fun. And Johnny O sent me the world's hottest hot sauce. I'm going to do that again over Christmas for charity. And you're going to do it with me. Potentially. I My niece tried it. I think I'm... You have a way higher tolerance. Remember the time we got that burger and I could not eat it. And it wasn't even the spicy one. There's two burgers in McDonald's here, and they're called the McCrispy and the McSpicy. The McSpicy is basically a version of the McCrispy, with just a tiny. Well, I had a McBurned arsehole after it anyway. He had the McCrispy, which has no spices in it, and we had to swap dinners so that he could eat something. Yeah, it was pretty fucking bad. Thank you so much, Jet Lag. I really pretty. That's very kind. Um, where's Jail Warren's joke? I didn't see it, Jail. Um, wait, 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 wait. It's got to be good. Oh, there. How long did it? How long did it take to get used to how often he misses the obvious? Oh, you Facebook messaged me a joke. Ah, little Ch Chilito was in court today. Was he? Yeah. What was he in court Where, for when, this time? when the fuck was that, Jail? I don't really use Facebook all that much. Um, oh, is that the one on TikTok? Hold on. As many of you know, my father and I weren't really close when I was growing up. In fact, uh, when he passed away, we were almost estranged. But uh, I'll always remember the last joke my father ever told me before he passed away. So I thought I might share it with y'all. So once upon a time, there was a little senile old man who lived in a nursing home. And one day, this. being a little bit senile, he decided to let himself hang out. Well, He's while he was letting himself hang out, he was approached by a little senile old lady. And being a little bit senile, she asked the little senile old man if she could hold him. Well, being a little bit senile, 
He said, sure. So the little St. Owl lady would hold the little St. Owl man. And this behavior continued on for a while until one day the little St. Owl lady approached the little St. Owl man and saw another little old lady holding him. Quite well, this tall. simply would not do. But being a woman of class, she decided to hold back, wait for the other little St. Owl lady to go to the restroom. She approaches the little St. Owl man. She says, I don't understand. You used to let me hold you, but now you let her hold you. What does she have that I don't have? And the little St. Owl man looked up at her and said, Parkinson's. Did you get it? Yes. It's good, isn't oh, it? My I told God. my dad that one. He nearly passed out laughing. Um, Canadian Dork for five Canada dollars says, my cousin has a bison farm. I'll send you some steaks. Oh, that'd be really cool. You know what I've always wanted to make? And that's part of why I'm buying bison steaks tomorrow. I want to make bison biltong. Is that like dried cured? Dry cured biltong. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um what did the buffalo say to the baby buffalo when he was sending him off to school? Bye, son. And on that bombshell. KDD <laughs> says YouTube Nevada Judges channel. I will definitely check that out, KDD. Thank you so much indeed. Um, Paul Fraser of Scotland for five pounds says, Chili, you have a face that not even your parents love. Shit face. I want to get shit faced. All right, let's get stuck into the uh, to the box, right? So I'll leave you pick something out while I read this. So yeah. this comes from you all know read the room chipocrit, uh, aka Lucy says, dear Mister and Mrs Demon, here are some American treats for you. Uh, some you requested, and others I found on sites that talk about. Okay, maybe wait till I'm done. Actually, um, on sites that uh, oh, bollocks uh, that talk about American things you can't get in Ireland. My sister had a friend who lived in London. She always sent her smart food, the cheese popcorn. I can't wait to try that. Um, because she couldn't get it in the UK. I figured you might not be able to get it either here, and it's heavenly. We, we actually can't get it here. Uh, some sites recommended sending seasonings like Old Bay and Lipton or extra strength pain meds. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you want those or think of anything else you'd like, uh, let me know. The stuff in the jar is marshmallow fluff. I've tried that before. <clears throat> I just a tiny bit of it. I don't think you've tried it yet. No. You were so excited when you took that out of the box. You were like, oh my God, marshmallow fluff. <laughs> I was like, yeah, calm down. Um, I figured it was very American and you might want to see what we eat at day camp. I don't know what that is. Uh, just use it instead of jelly on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, thanks for all the entertainment. Your friend in YouTube land, the land of? YouTube. Oh, you just did it five minutes ago, dickhead. You. Oh, oh, you too. Tube. <laughs> um, read the room, chipocrit. Thank you so much, Lucy. Thank you um, so much. You were so, she was all emotional and shit. I did start crying. When There's no surprise there. I seen, saw, when I saw the box. Just because I thought it was so sweet and so lovely and so kind. And, oh God, I get yeah you do don't you see i get emotional at the kindness of people yeah just it, as a general like even in my everyday life if somebody is really kind to me or i hear somebody being really kind to somebody else i just <laughs> when we started dating first i yeah. we were out somewhere i can't remember we were out to dinner somewhere and I didn't really like what I had gotten, but we, it was a nice joint. We paid a lot for it. So I was like, I'll take it away in a box. Um, and I gave it to just some random homeless guy. I was like, oh, hey man, you hungry? He was like, yeah. I was like, you like pasta? He was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I gave him the pasta and I told him where he could go to heat it up. And I turned around, she was there crying. I was like, why are you crying? She's like, that's the sweetest thing ever. I was like, okay. And then in Spain, same thing i was giving it to somebody and you my mother always she's very us up and she always said it doesn't cost anything to be kind exactly and i just think like in my everyday life i'm very conscious of just even a little bit of kindness towards somebody can really brighten their day oh yeah yeah <laughs> it's so something when... that i always do like you know it could be something small like when i drop you into work there's a lot of homeless people around where you work and there's it's a juxtaposition because you have this glitzy glam shop and it is beautiful. It's amazing where you couldn't buy a handbag for under 10 grand or get makeup for under a hundred bucks a tube or however make, make, makeup comes. And then you got guys outside on the street who can't feed themselves. And, you know, we've all had hard times. Like I know I have, I know you have. And like, even for me, just give them a cigarette or be like, Hey, do you want a cup of coffee or whatever? 
It's yeah. very simple things that There's you can do. never a time that, because where I am based, I have to walk to the shop to mm-hmm. get my lunch so there's never a time where i don't get my lunch and give the homeless people who usually sleep yeah. outside oh absolutely shop something at least mm-hmm. um i'm gonna be doing a little bit of live streaming tomorrow i'll explain what that's for tomorrow and i was thinking about maybe going into the shop and buying some stuff to make up care packages because there is a lot of homeless people that we see every day who we kind of have grown to know and we mm-hmm. chat with every day like there's one guy in particular anytime i go to pick you up i'm like cigarette <laughs> Every he time. does and you know what I love as well like some people might find it presumptuous but there's this one guy that I usually do give a cigarette to and if I'm passing by and I'm just kind of in a world of my own he'll go hey and I'll look over and he'll just go yeah and it's say can he have a exactly and I it's love, not cigarette you can't say that word on the internet you'll get me demonetized again can he have a cigarette and I love that he feels comfortable enough yeah to, to ask and there's that guy that always offers you to walk into your car and like mm-hmm. you know you get to know people and these are good people like so yeah I was thinking we it's getting cold and rainy out there now so we'll put together some care packages and what I definitely did want to do I mentioned this to the other day is I would love to get and give care packages for women and young teenage mm. girls and give them into foster homes and yeah. into, what would you call it? C- group homes and care homes and stuff? Um, or community home. group things. Yeah, like um, there's a place, I don't know of what they have in America, but it's like emergency housing for... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. sheltered housing. Sheltered housing for, well, my club- for women and their children. We can make that work. My my club works very closely with the women's shelter. That's what the Christmas toy run and stuff is for. So we, yeah, we can make that work. Uh, read the room, Chippocrit. That's the lady who has sent all this awesome stuff for five bucks. Says it was so worth it to make you and Chloe happy. Thank you so that much. Is so Although sweet. it did cause a little bit of strife last night when he was trying to eat all the snacks. Not all of them, just most of them. You. I did not let him touch it until today. I had a bit of a snack accident this morning, and I will admit I did have a Jolly Rancher when I was in the car. But was, I've had Jolly Ranchers. I, love I was them. wondering. Real quick, let me just get this here, babe, before it goes. Um, because otherwise I'll miss them. Uh, under the Blood Red Sky gifted five memberships. Jeff Brown, KDD, Art Akuto, Project Constitution, and Flat Derp all got one. And Jetlag also gifted a membership, which went to Martino Berto. Congratulations. Um, and you guys know what to do for new members in the site. Uh, let me just bring those up on the screen. Um, so that was the five from under the blood red sky, my Irish brother. And Jetlag, that's Jetlag's one. And Paul McKenna has been, uh, John Paul McKenna has been a member for a month, says, I'll send you fluff and coffee milk from New England. That's something we can't really get here is coffee creamer. I never I, like to use it because coffee's too hot. And just real quick, talking about coffee, the wonderful, the beautiful, the very kind and generous, delicious, uh, says, lol, maybe it's time to send more killer coffee. Well, we were just talking about how kind and lovely your mom is, and she's a sweetheart. She gave me a gift today of a coffee machine because I love coffee, and I broke my coffee machine, so she gave me a gift of a beautiful coffee machine, which I can't wait to use tomorrow. And I had a, I'd just be straight up with you guys because you're my friends and you know, I had a rough couple of days. Mm-hmm. I've been pretty down and not feeling great the past couple of days. And you are amazing as well, you know, at oh, looking after thank me. You. But there's something about your mom and your brother and your sister and your nephew who all came for lunch with us today that the, just brightens me up. It's just, it really does. I will say my family just have this warmth to them. Oh, your family they are do, and it's never going to be a case of anybody they meet or come across. They always make you. Oh, it's feel like family like, instantly. Yeah, like, like the first night, family. I won't say when. I won't give too much details because a lot of private stuff or whatever. But the first night that I ever met your family, I stayed in your mom's house because my car broke down, and it was like I just instantly felt like part of the family, and it's never changed. Oh, my it's mom just, was instantly like, "Come in, stay with us." I was like, drink. "Are you sure? Like, you know, do you mind?" And yeah, it was great. Um, and then of course. Your little brother, he's an absolute legend. JSPK on YouTube. Actually, we should share his link in a minute and get people to subscribe for him. I think he'd love that. He absolutely idolizes John and loves the idea of doing YouTube. So he made his own YouTube channel 
and he loves posting videos. If you guys look up JSPK, you'll find him there. And JSPK 2013. JSPK 2013. He's a fantastic kid, very talented. And then uh, our little nephew, he's only four, and he... Uh, you know, when we walked into where we went for lunch, he just sprinted across and gave oh, me a big hug. Oh, he sprinted hug. past me. Past his loving aunt who was there for his birth and straight into my arms. He, he adores me. I, I love him. He's the first person in this world to see him out here in the universe and still straight Straight past. to me. I am pretty oh, cool. I was though. saying about Creamer. Right, we I, are 25 I, minutes in now and we haven't seen a single snack and I haven't eaten yet I today. I will so. get Go. to them now in a second. <laughs> About creamer, I asked you one day, is it, it's a substitute for milk and coffee? It's powdered milk, but usually with a bit of flavoring or sweetener in it. And I always see it um, on American TV programs. Like Coffee Mate, which is also how you ask somebody, do they want a coffee in Australia? Coffee yeah. Mate? <laughs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, is it just milk flavored but in a cream rather than in yeah it's kind of like liquid. you know those um outrageously expensive coffees that i buy you that you only drink that much of yes yeah uh it's like <laughs> uh, you know what it's exactly like you know the powdered cappuccino yeah it's basically that but but without, I thought coffee. It was, without the coffee you, but put I thought it in it was coffee. Cream. you can get it as a liquid as well yeah that's what i thought it was um anyway let's get fucking started now okay. there's a lot of stuff here that i've never tried so these are Most of it, actually. Jolly Ranchers. Can we leave those towards the end? Because they're hard sweets. Oh, so we'll start off with the soft, squishy stuff. So, so these, actually, hold on. We'll, we'll, make, we'll get people to vote. So get another soft, squishy thing. That's not yourself. Oh. What's that? A ho-ho. A ho-ho. I've heard of these. I've heard of these, too. Um, I've known a few ho-hos in my life. But Twinkies. Like, these are just... Quintessential quintessential right lads and lassies one for ho-hos um two for twinkies johnny may says jspk 2013 um had 61 subscriber when i added mine now up to 65 fuck yes let me just Thank tell you this kid is an incredible incredible child and he is really passionate so what i'd love for people to do is to head over there and um and give him a subscription, drop a message, and let him know that um, his future brother-in-law, the Irish demon, sent you. Uh, put a lot of shamrocks in there. Give him a bit of love. He's a great kid. He's, he, our, he's one of our best friends. Without a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. Like, actually, oh, it's out in the car still. He made me a really cool Irish demon background thing for my studio. But I'm waiting to figure out what I want to do with my studio first. He's, he's a legend. I can't remember which one was one and which one was two. Can you? It was like I know Twinkies can survive through like nuclear fucking war and everything. Delicious for two Aussie dollars says killer coffee do a drip bag now. Oh fuck yes. What's a drip bag? It's um it's like a tea bag for coffee, if I remember correctly. And you put it over your cup and pour the thing into it, or else it's like the one that you put in like a tea bag. Like the Cafe Noir ones. Number one was Ho-Ho's. Number one was Ho-Ho's. Okay, let me scroll back. I'm seeing a good few ones, but I'm seeing a lot of twos as well. All right, your, your Twinkies, because you love the idea of Twinkies. I'm Ho-Ho's because I love Ho-Ho's. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Your <laughs> Twinkies, I'm Ho-Ho's. Rock, Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. Kid. Fuck. Twinkies it is. Not that that's a fuck thing. Right. Yeah. But we're going to try both of them anyway. Round one, Twinkies. Right, so... We're going to do a rating out of 10. Yes. Now, I will just say, when it comes to this kind of stuff in particular, anything cakey, uh -huh. I grew up with a father who is an absolutely gifted baker, right? So a master baker, if you will. We'll just share one between us because yeah. I'm going to give the rest of this to the kids. So we're going to rate this out of 10. Mm -hmm. All right, Dinka, Slancha. Wow, 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 wow. Smell test first. Smells like sponge cake. It smells like sponge cake, which is what it is. Oh, I just got cream on my nose. <laughs> There's a surprise. Um, all right, we ready? We taste yeah. that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's remarkably good. It's it like even though these can literally survive a nuclear fucking winter, okay. it tastes fresh? fresh. Jinx. I said it first so you can't talk now. Um, do you like it though? I really Ah, like you it. talked. 
It's very sweet though. Like it, that would be like I like it, but that would be way too sweet now for my like. No, I'm I see. I sweet really enough like already. it. No, I know you love sweet, sweet stuff, but I don't have anything to compare it to. Mmm, it's kind of like um. It reminds me of something, and I can't put my finger on it. Yeah, it's really nice, though. I'm surprised by how fresh it tastes. Yeah. I thought it would be a bit more kind of like, you know, when you get cakes and packets. I hate those queen cakes because I grew they're up. They're like firmer. They're firm, and they're a bit like um, papery almost. Both I grew up. really fresh. They're, they just taste fresh. It's they're, They've probably been sitting in a warehouse since 1968, mm -hmm. like, but they're fucking amazing. All right. So we're going to rate it out of 10. What are you thinking? I give them a solid eight. It's definitely something I can see myself craving. Really, yeah. I, I'd call it. I, I would personally, I would give them a six because I grew up on phenomenally good baked goods. But it is really nice. I feel like it's something you could have in in like a, a, a runaway bag or in the back of your car just in case. Yeah, I. Yeah, I would definitely if we lived in America or it'd be if, something that you'd look forward to. Yeah, it was it would be something okay. that um Sean Osunawan for two euros says you down because Cork has no AI for seven years seventeen years. I don't know what that is. Fill me in on that one, Sean. I don't know what that's about. Um no AI. Um Twinkies and ice cream. Oh, I could picture that. Yeah. I could picture mm. that. Or Twinkies um with a cup of tea. With a cup of tea, not coffee. No. I, I actually, weirdly enough, I love coffee, but I don't like biscuits or cookies or cake with coffee. I like that with tea. I don't know why that is. Um, Michael says, I love queen cakes. Queen cakes are just like little little cakes with icing like on it. Like fairy cakes. Like, kind of like fairy cakes, but a little bit, little bit different. My mom um, makes them the best. Alan S, it's JSPK. Oh, yeah, let me get, the, I'll get the link actually would be the best thing. Uh, also, a lot of people are asking, uh, I got a lot of emails from people um, asking about um, sending stuff for us to try on the air or whatever it is that you guys want to send. And um, my current PO box is linked in the description. So if anybody wants to send anything, by all means, um, that's where you can do so. Uh, I actually sent out a few bits to some of you guys today. Um, I'm sending out some little just like christmas cards and things like that i've also been buying a few bits and pieces to put into a box i'm going to send to three random people i'm going to pick one from paypal one from super chats and members and one from patreon like a little um, christmas present. just a little christmas present chloe's going to pick out some of it i'm going to pick out some of it um so yeah it'd be a bit of fun uh, but it's going to be a complete surprise i'm going to put them in the boxes uh they're all, each box is going to be different I'm going to put them under the Christmas tree in the studio. Read the room chipper crypt for $5 says, you must be psychic, ID. You said the Twinkies must have been in a warehouse since 1968. That's the year I was born. What's the chances of that? That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, First of all, that's all the bullshit. I've seen you. You're not born in 1968. Come on. There's no way. Your mom was born. I won't say actually no, because that'll give it right away. Your mom was born the year that England won the World Cup. World Cup archery back in 1726. Anyway, <laughs> uh, all right, so let's move on. So now we got the whole holes, which is like a chocolate Twinkie, is my guest. Now, straight Hello, Carrie off. Tea. Carrie T in the house. Good to see you, Carrie T. Um, oh, and feel free to just read out any ones you want. Like, <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, so these are whole holes. Now, straight off the rip, I can tell you exactly what these remind me of. Is it those um, chocolate Swiss rolls? A chocolate Swiss roll from Cadbury's. Um, Cadbury's do them. Yeah. Oh, even smell like a Swiss roll. Smell like a like a Swiss roll. <laughs> a smell like a like a one. <laughs> That's a Cadbury Swiss roll. It's pretty much the exact same. A bit sweeter. A bit sweeter. Which I thought it would be. I don't like them as much as I like the Twinkies. Really? Mm hmm. Mm. I like I, sweet food, but my chocolate, I don't like too sweet. My go to, I do love chocolate, don't get me wrong, but my go to wouldn't be chocolate. I'd rather have something. See, I, I do love vanilla chocolate. Vanilla flavored over chocolate. 
I do love chocolate. I love good chocolate, though. Um, so, lads and lasses, in the side chat there, I um, pinned a link to Chloe's younger brother's YouTube channel. I said, how old is he now? He is 11. He's 11, and he's a gifted kid. There's 76 subscribers there right now. I think, well, how many did he have before the start of the stream? He was all, he tells me, he updates me all the time, how many he's up to, and... I think 65? 65. Um, so, we've gotten more than 10 now, and there's nearly 200 of you watching. So do us a favor, go over and give him a subscription. We've also got Chloe's channel uh, live. There's nothing on it yet. We're going to clip some of this and put it on there. Mm -hmm. And um, that is actually my old backup channel, basically. I don't really need it anymore. Um, and now it's called Lip Smack. So I'll put a link to that as well there. What kind while. of videos, I wonder, would people be interested in watching? Like, yeah. What kind of type of videos? Because I kind of flitted between kind of podcasty stuff um some beauty related stuff some so let's do this right in the side chat um i will try to pin as many as i can but it's kind of mm -hmm. hard to keep on top of it if you have any ideas of what kind of stuff you'd like to hear chloe cover on her channel because i know you wouldn't be into the court stuff and all that kind of thing yeah like i'm not adverse to kind of reaction to say kind of crazy Court craziness stuff. do you want to get the drama? next thing out there um because we've a lot to go through the box it's a huge box i am so so we're going savory oh okay let me just ask you this so between between um between twinkies and ho-hos on the count of three okay and we'll see what if we agree or not okay one two three twinkies, twinkies. Yeah. Okay, Twinkies win that one. Um, Super said, I would like to see her do makeup. Yeah, reactions, love... makeup. See, you're great at makeup. There's no doubt about it. Like, you really are. But what I would love to see you um, cover is, like, more day-to-day -day stuff because you. we always talk about that kind of thing in the car, and your takes are always really funny. We also need to settle the fucking Pringle debate. That'd be a good short for your channel. Uh, read the room, Chipocrite. Do you want to read this one? Yeah, it says, cross my heart. I am 55. Good genetics and limited sun exposure were like the fountain of youth for me. Sounds pretty good. We get very limited sun exposure here in winter time. Yeah. There's literally, literally um... none. It was pretty bad today. God damn, the, the weather was atrocious. Uh, makeup for ages. That's a really good one. I love that because the type of makeup I love on uh, myself is quite natural and natural remember we talked about the idea of oh look Minnie and the puppy are playing they're wrestling mm -hmm. that's the first time i've seen them actually wrestling Good my girl, favorite Minnie. kind of makeup to do is oh my god that's so fucking cute you have to have a look they are adorable they are actually proper playing and it's so fucking cute i'm sorry the kind of makeup I like to do is more about enhancing what somebody already has rather yeah. than completely. And then we talked covering. about like doing makeovers for people. Like once, I once definitely Christmas is wanted over. to film a video of me doing my mother's makeup, and I thought it would be interesting to ask her questions yeah. about beauty and beauty so, standards and stuff back when. But also like she asking just regular age. questions, like doing like a podcast while you do makeup. Oh yeah, but like while I do makeup, asking her like what was the first makeup product yeah. she was ever exposed to. But we'll to. wait and see what else people want to show because we have a lot to get through here. Right, so next up, I, I actually misread that. I thought it said fun size. I was like, holy shit, I wouldn't like to see the fun <laughs> size one. So this is smart food party size white cheddar, gluten-free, no artificial. Why would there be gluten and popcorn anyway? All popcorn's gluten-free. Anyway, no artificial colors or flavors, no artificial preservatives, and this is cheese-flavored. Now, we have a cheese-flavored popcorn in this country called Manhattan. You know Manhattan popcorn. Yes, yeah. I'm not a fan. The one in the blue pack. It I'm... smells like dirty arse, but it tastes incredible. But you do not fucking eat it with raw fingers. I will say I'm not a fan of the brand Manhattan. It's very, very... It's dry and catchy. But also the kernels catch you. Are you ready for a walk? Okay. Yes. Right, close your eyes, open your nose. Ready? Oh, that's nice. It smells lovely. It's really mild. Um, this, I'll leave them off. I don't, can you guys hear the dogs growling in the background? I wouldn't think so. Look at the size of the bag next to your little head. Okay. All right, we ready? Did you already put one in your mouth? No, I didn't oh. fucking put one. 
I'm going to tell them some dirty secret about you when it comes to eating popcorn. We can't share a bag of popcorn because Chloe does this thing, right? I'll demonstrate. They're your ones, right? It's kind of like smoking weed with somebody. Puff, puff, pass, right? Munch, munch, pass. No. This is what Chloe does, right? She put her hand in the bag. She'll be watching a movie, right? They're fucking amazing. Anyway. Hey, I didn't try one. And she goes like this. And I'll be sitting there like, can you fucking come on? That's the nicest popcorn I've ever had. That's good. That is the single nicest popcorn I've ever had. Oh, when we go to America, I want to try. Because over here, if you go to a cinema, you just get salted popcorn. Movie theater. That's what they call it. Mm. Versus when I see it on Ooh. telly, you have like. T TV. They don't do telly. God, they're really playing. Good girl, Minnie Mouse. Um, you have that butter, like a butter syrup. What? The Tipperary accent is powerful with this one. Oh, butter. Butter. They're butter. <laughs> butter. <laughs> butter. <laughs> <laughs> These are really good. They're fucking amazing. They're really smooth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like the Manhattan ones taste like you're eating strong foot cheese through a sock off somebody's ass. Like. You're just really smelling all that while you're eating them. But these are lovely and smooth. I am going to fucking have so much fun eating these, watching a movie later. Mm -mm. Oh, I like them. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, Bear said she knows what I mean. About? The butter. I was not listening. I was About too the butter? Oh, the butter squeezy things. Yeah, I've seen those um, butter pumps before. Mm. Um, right. Oh, fuck me. They're good. Rate that out of 10. Oh, a solid 9.5. That's a 10 out, out of 10. As far as popcorn goes, that's as good as you get. Fuck, that's good. All right, next thing. I would say like a solid 9.5 because I'm saving that 10. You're saving that 10. That's my 10 so far. Black Label Edam. I've never tried that. <laughs> Robert, uh, Robert Kennedy says, hit the button if you like butter. Uh, Martino, oh, wow. two seconds there. Excited. Martino Berto for two bucks says, if they made ho hos with Twinkie, it would be a honky. <laughs> I, what's a honky? I don't know what that is. What is a honky? Like a honky tonk, no? A honky tonk? Yeah. I was in a honky tonk once. I think I was in a honky tonk with JL Warren. I, at least I think it was. Connie H says, warning, movie theater butter is not butter. Butter isn't butter? What? I can't believe it's not butter. Oh, white people. Oh, okay. I did. That's the first time I've ever heard that. Oh, no, I have. I've heard that in a movie. Anyway, all right. Next up, we got Muddy Buddies. Chex Mix. Now, I've had these before. I've had the chocolate ones before. Funfetti flavored. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this sounds right up now, my alley. Yeah, I was going to say, this looks like the kind of thing you would love. It oh, a like white person is a hunky. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is very you. The white stuff and the little dots on it. It wouldn't be me so much, but let's see if it would change your mind. Because I've had the chocolate version of these, and it was one of the only... But don't open it like that. Open it like this so we can seal them, and I can continue to eat them. Not that they'll probably last the night. Whoa, holy diabetes, fat man. Oh, yeah. That's diabetes in a bag, though. Oh, yeah. Now, can I just start off by saying one, if I could be uh, critical from the outside, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, observe the picture, okay? Okay? You got it? Yeah. And now the actual item. <laughs> it's oh. covered in a, a gentle lane of, a layer of cocaine. Oh, you ready? Think it. Yes. Mm, not for me. No. Yes. Too kind of. Mm -hmm. mm, not for me. What are these made out of? Corn, I think. It yeah. tastes corny. I was going to say, it tastes, yes, they taste cereally. I mean, they're good. Mm. They're nice. It wouldn't be for me. What would you Do you know who would fucking love that? Killian. Oh my God, our nephew would love that. What would you give him out of 10? About a four. Ooh. Like, I would eat them, but I, I wouldn't go and choose them. Give them a 7.5. The kids are going to love those. They're going to fucking love those. We'll have to... 
Oh, you, you, you're going to eat them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's an audible crunch. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, do we have any other non-sweeties? Because they'll ruin my uh, palate for the rest of the... What's this? My God, those dogs are playing hard. So next on the list, we have Hostess Coffee Cakes. Oh, oh shit. What's that? We've got more Muddy Buddies. Muddy Buddies, peanut butter and chocolate. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Coffee Cakes. Now, these are cinnamon coffee cakes. Cinnamon streusel coffee cakes. Now, I love cinnamon. I love coffee I love and I love cinnamon. cakes. Mm. All of them mixed together. I've never been a fan of coffee cake, but we'll see. You can take some of these to work tomorrow. Look, they're individually uh, yeah. wrapped. Oh, you should give them some to the girls at work. There's a guy that works for Chloe from New York, so he'll be... Actually, you should bring him in a bunch of these... Tomorrow? Taste of home. Like, he'd love that. Yeah, he um, he works someone well, in the stands oh, yeah, I near you're where I... We'll just share one, so yeah. I don't want to... Near where I work, um, and he's originally from New York, and his wife is Irish. Irish. Um, but he's such a character, just... A really cool dude. So again, and I, not that this is a problem. I think it's absolutely awesome. But so look at the image on the box. You see it? Uh huh. You see it. And now the actual product. Oh, it feels nice. Like it looks really appetizing. Like, but it's the same kind of way, you know. Like, oh, like anything. Like a McDonald's burger in the picture. I always think it's amazing. I watch YouTube videos on food. Um, advertising, you know, the way they make it with using plastics and different kinds oh, of things. Oh, I love those. They're such relaxing videos. Yeah. Use like I wax and stuff. I smell this first. I'll break it open for you. You have to bring one of these to work tomorrow. This would be perfect for your lunch. Oh, yes. Oh. You having an orgasm live on the air? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. What's wrong? I just got diabetes. <laughs> it is fucking delicious, mm -hmm. but it is way too sweet. Like, this would be too sweet for the European palate. Like, for the Irish palate, anyway, most definitely. But holy shit, does it taste good. Somebody said something about tater tots. What are they? Are they potato? Croquetas. They're croquettes. Croquetas, which you can't <laughs> eat anymore. <laughs> Tell them. Danny. We saved the rest of that for later. When we went to Spain. Spain on holiday, I got really sick with my esophagus and I couldn't eat. I couldn't very... swallow or anything. Don't look at me like that, you dirty-minded munchkin. I was very, very sick at the time, so I couldn't eat anything. Um, but when oh, we got oh, to sorry, Spain... Sorry, I have to interrupt. I do apologize. My other woman is on the, mm -hmm. the stream here. Lisa Doran says, I have to leave you. It's birthday dinner time. Whose birthday? Please still be here and tell me whose birthday. I love how John has to ask uh, the missus if the missus is having an orgasm, if you have to ask. <laughs> Fuck you, Sean. Fuck you, Deputy Stag. A round of applause for that. That was a that was a cheap shot, Sean. Yes. But it was a good one. Oh, my God. What? Yeah, see, she's having another one. I just got a great said, oh. idea. Go on. Uh, great idea. Why don't, before we get married, you have a stag with loads of subscribers? Where have you been, lady? We've been planning that for weeks. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I just... Going to Vegas on Colin's birthday. Mm. Aww. Um, Am I not invited? You're not invited to a stag party, lady. And I'll have a stag party with the boys in the club. Welsh News Network in the house says, hey all, good to see you, Welsh. Hello. Um, Thank you for your message yesterday as well, my friend. It really meant a lot. Uh, my son Sean is 23. All right, babe. Have we got a candle? We'll blow out a candle for um, Sean's birthday. Um, uh, do you have the lighter there? That one's gone. Fuck, we're out of candles. Anyway, let's just wish Sean a very happy birthday. Happy birthday. Will we sing the song? Oh. Yeah. Holiday. Is that not happy birthday? Are you singing right now? Because I hate to break it to you, but that's not singing. No, no, I was just saying happy birthday in Irish. But were you gonna sing it in Irish? 
I thought that's what we were doing. Do you know how to sing happy birthday to you in Irish? Yeah. Is it the same air? Is it the same what? The same air, the same tune. Yeah. How does it go? La braha honadit. La braha honadit. La braha hon. Hon. Sean. Oh, yes, yes, yes. La braha honadit. How old are you now? Do you ever see that video? No. How old are you now? Guy went down. Um, anyway, don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Sean. Happy birthday. Have a good one, my friend. Chloe, take some friends and have a bachelorette party in Vegas. That sounds fucking oh, yeah. dangerous. Sounds, sounds fucking fun. dangerous. Um, be like the hangover. It would be worse than the hangover. Okay, let's move on. Oh, I've been looking forward to this one. Muddy Buddies. And can I just say that it's not only these giant size bags. bags like there's like four, three or four of each and tons of Jolly Ranchers. The kids are going to have a fucking ball with this at Christmas because... Oh, yeah, I forget you're not giving them to the kids. <laughs> these are peanut butter. Hold on. Do you want me to make sure that... That's peanut butter. That's oh. chocolate. Right up. Okay. One peanut butter, one chocolate at the same time. They're amazing. Babe. They're peanut butter and chocolate on all of them. Just so you know. I love how it says <laughs> naturally and artificially flavored. <laughs> Did we rate the last one? What was the last one? Were they the funfetti ones? No, it was the coffee one last time. Oh, it was the coffee. You didn't write that. Coffee one, in terms of taste and texture, about a seven. I give them an eight. Sweetness level was way too high for my liking, but that's just me. But you know, I'm not really into overly sweet stuff, except for these. These are fucking amazing. These are. So you have chocolate and peanut butter, which is a, it, it's a, it's ambrosia. It's a mix made in heaven. Surrounded by crispy, crunchy corn, I think. Again, absolutely amazing. And then coated in sweet, delicious cocaine. These are up here, up there with the popcorn. Like what I would see as the perfect movie snack it, because that's mm -hmm. what we call it a snack it. Don't ask me why. That cheesy popcorn, they're still going. Minnie loves having a little playmate because Floki doesn't like playing. All anyway, right. That popcorn, these muddy buddies, mm -hmm. and a glass of Ribena juice. Mm -hmm. Anyway, out of 10, I'm going to fire my second load here and say that's a 10 out of 10 for me. I'm going to go with a 10 for those. Awesome. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, there's more. Isn't there more? None. Yeah, we got fucking cereal and everything. Is that... We'll only open one of these because they'll go bad. They're, are they the same? They're both Captain Crunch. One of them's peanut butter Captain Crunch. Which one should we open? Both of them. No, because it takes a long while to go through cereal, and I don't. Want but to we'll do them. we'll do a separate video on your channel with the peanut butter one. If that's okay, we'll read the room, Chipocrat. Mom wants some. Oh yeah, my mom is in the side chat. Mom, do you want to um, do a live stream this week trying some of these foods? That would be really fun. Now, you might be at work, though, which would be a pain, but... Oh, Munchkin, you can't eat any of this, darling. You will immediately die. If the, do <laughs> if the dog ate so much as a morsel of this, she would die instantly, like the amount of sugar in it. Um, Yeah, read the room, Chipper. We'll taste that with my mom during the week. Uh, you're oh, off Sunday, so, ma'am, if you're... Garrison said, I find it difficult to watch you guys. I'm going to be alone this Christmas. Well, let me tell you one thing, Evelyn. If it's any consolation, you won't be alone this Christmas because we're going to do a bit of a Christmas stream. Mm -hmm. And let me just tell you this. And I know I never need to speak for you because she's tough as guts. But I know I speak for both of us when I say, if you need us this Christmas, we'll be there with you. Don't you worry. I promise you that. If, you, if you're having a bad time or whatever, if you want to jump on a stream with us or if you want to message us on Instagram or have a chat or... Uh, phone call if if because we do have a busy enough Christmas, but we'll be there for you. Don't you worry, Evelyn. We'll never let you down. We'll never we'll never leave you alone at Christmas. I would hate 
the idea of anyone being alone on Christmas or anybody being alone. You're getting all teary again. I am. I know. I just. I know. And Evelyn, you've been here with us and with me every day that every time I've streamed, Evelyn's been there. So don't you doubt for one minute that I'll be there for you too. And um, yeah, 100%. Don't you worry about that. No need to cry. We'll be there for you. And not only just, see, here's the thing, Evelyn. I get you. And Bobby said, um, the same said, great news because I'll be alone again this Christmas. Well, do you know what we'll do? I'm going to make um, a commitment now. I promise you all, I will stream Christmas Day. We will have some time to do it. Yeah. We actually will we'll be doing, well, here's the thing. We'll be doing quite a bit of driving on Christmas because we have to drive up to see Chloe's family and down to see mine so we can stream in the car as we did the other day. So don't worry. We'll be there with you through Christmas. You will never be alone at Christmas as long as we're around. And not only us, but a couple of hundred people here watching right now will be there with you too. So don't you worry about that. Any of you, anybody out there that's, feeling alone or whatever we've all been there as i said to you guys i don't mind sharing it with you because i know a lot of you guys have your own struggles i had a really you know what it was like for me the last couple of days i had a really shitty couple of days and it was kindness of people um on here and in my home life and you and your mom and my mom and my dad and all of us that's what makes it all better so don't worry we'll be there with you evelyn and bobby and anybody else Anybody I else? I always that find needs it us. incredible the community you guys have created. It's awesome here that you can really not feel alone. Yeah, no matter what. Like talking about being alone and stuff like that. Like that's a big reason why I reached out to that guy Siri the other day. And I was like, I said it to you. I was sitting on the couch. I was like, babe, I'm going to message Siri and try bury the hatchet. Not because I don't want to be fighting with him or anything but i was like what's it achieving you know what i mean and friendship and having a laugh is way more important and and yes the community goes through its bad Shan, times up, which one darling up, Shan. Shan says um i'm in a very dark place right now not sure i'm going to make it some days Shan, trust me when i say it, i totally understand i really do i always believe that people never give themselves enough credit in the strength that they have <sighs> Absolutely. And sometimes when you don't feel like you have that strength, your brain and Just your heart. your hand there because you're blocking the microphone. Your brain and your heart take over yeah. and you persevere and you push through it. And I have no doubt that that incredible strong lady will do the hundred percent. And like, for me, I know one of my downfalls is sometimes I question myself a lot as well, you know. Mm -hmm. whether I'm doing the right thing, whether I'm making difference in people's lives the way that is my goal. Like, and to be able to do it and make it part of my career is a dream come true. But then there's days where I'm like, like yesterday, I just was in a bad place anyway because of other stuff. But like, then you kind of reminded me about how important it was what I do and the friendship and the joy and the laughs and all that stuff that I bring to not just you and my family and friends, but to people online that need it, you know? I think it's easy for anyone to get caught up in all the negative aspects of their life. But I think sometimes it's when somebody that you care about, that cares about you kind of reminds you, okay, I know all the negative aspects that are going on right now. Now tell me everything good in your life. Yeah. Now, and and tell me are those things not worth being grateful for yeah. and happy about and you know the way i am like sometimes when i'm in a bad way which happens from time to time and you'll remind me of all the amazing things i'm like oh fuck that uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. but like today even like this morning you you know i had a i had a bad start to the day i had a bad bad start to the day and then chloe's mom invited us out for lunch with the kids and everything and then I get this big hug from our nephew who he idolizes me, doesn't he? Like he really does. And I was just like, yeah, no, it's all okay now. You know what I mean? Because it's that kind of love. You can't, that no money can, they say money doesn't buy happiness. Now it does buy a Ferrari and it's a lot more fun to cry in a Ferrari, but you know, a hug from somebody you love or even just a thought from somebody you love, a word, a kind word, that makes or all the difference. Or even just a kind word from a stranger, like, 
I'll always, I always do my best, even at work. When I'm walking around the shop at work, if I see somebody's hair and I think it looks great, or if I see somebody's makeup, or if mm -hmm. I'm going through the door and I know it's going to take somebody else behind me an extra 30 seconds, I don't you mind. You just do that extra bit. Wait in those 30 seconds. When we started dating first, remember every time we went into a shop, you'd be like, do you have any idea how much you flirt with people? And I'm like, what? I was like, I wouldn't fucking flirt with anybody. What are you talking about? I didn't know. I didn't say it in a kind of like, you have Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It was more like, I find it quite amusing that you tend to be flirtatious without realizing it. And it's like, all, all I'll say is, and it's not in a creepy way, because you'll be standing next to me. Like, so it's not like I'm trying to crack on to somebody where I'm like, oh, your hair is really pretty. Or, you know, oh, your nails are really cool. Or if I notice like it's a young kind of awkward dude working in a place, I'll always be really chill and really cool with him. And she loves all that anyway. Um, Charlie Welsh says, Christmas died when my mom died. And that's really sad. And I can kind of, in some respect, relate to that. Where my dearly beloved grandmother passed away it was her birthday christmas day and i loved spending christmas day with her um because everybody would go off to mass off to church and i'd stay home smoking fucking rothmans with my nan drinking cups of tea and i felt much the same and when i was living in australia it never felt like christmas because it was so hot and muggy and i just didn't enjoy it as much and away from family and stuff um but you i what i've learned is you can regain that happiness in christmas in other ways um, like, we got to like, move on here in a second. As though. much as, as much as Christmas is a happy kind of joyful time, I think sometimes people tend to forget that it's also probably one of the most stressful times or times that people might get upset. Yeah, so it's just being kind to each other Absolutely. during this time of year as well. Uh, Bobby says, "I love seeing love grow." And you two are so beautiful together. I'm proud to call you my friends. Thanks again, Irish Demon and Chloe. My pleasure. And I know it's yours too. Yeah. And I've seen you grow as well as a person over these past few months. Like, it's it's amazing. My mom still asks every time we go over there, how's Bobby? I'm like, she's great. Yeah. And a lot of that's thanks to my mom, you know. Um, Dara says, um, my mom passed unexpectedly in May. I'm really sorry to hear that. Uh, don't even want to do Christmas. I know, I do know for a lot of people. I know what people, you're going to say, and I know I'm going to agree with that. I do know for a lot of people, especially after somebody's passed, they decide to kind of not skip over Christmas, but not have as big of a Christmas celebration. Of course. Just giving yourself time. Yeah, it, okay absolutely. Too. It is. And, you know, there's a beautiful thing about Christmas that I learned last year. Um, is that despite what's going on and why Christmas might be difficult to somebody, Christmas or any kind of holiday like it, not because necessarily the Christian element of it or the, the original, I suppose, Celtic pagan element of it. No. There's something special about Christmas is that it transcends time. It doesn't matter how many years have passed. Like you think about people during the Victorian times and all of the things that they would do for Christmas because they loved Christmas in Victorian times and not a single one of those people are alive today not even one of them but that heritage and history and the beauty of Victorian Christmas that's why we still have like all this kind of stuff nutcrackers and all that kind of Victorian era stuff because it transcends time and it's something beautiful that yes it's amazing to be able to share it with family or with a loved one or a partner or kids or whatever but it, that doesn't have to be the end of it. There's other ways to share it with other people or to just enjoy it for yourself as well. You know, like I, I have something here over behind your head that my mom gave me, or what gave you actually, the little um, the little head there. Um, This little cute it's head gorgeous. thing, because it kind of looks like you as well. And the flower on top or the plant on top is a, is it a poncetia? Is that how you say it? I would call it a pancetta. A pancetta. And we have one over there, a bigger one on the table. Um, I get one of those every year. Even when I was in Australia, it was a bit harder to get because it reminds me of my grandmother at Christmas. And that used to be something that made me really, really sad. But now it's... Um, it um, just makes me happier, just remembering those great times, yeah. you know? Uh, Purple Rain, I, 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 I kind of remember... Um, you mentioning that when it did happen. And of course, it'll be a hard one. But yes, and what Daisy May says, do Christmas in those people's honor. Yep. Enjoy it for them. 
Um, no, no, not don't be sorry at all, uh, Evelyn. That's really important. But we're going to be here Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, because we'll be on the road a lot. So we'll we'll do some streaming yeah. um, from the car and maybe with our families and stuff like that as well. So it'll be a bit of fun. Oh, uh, I think somebody is trying to tell us how to. Oh, poinsettia. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. Um, okay, take care, uh, Carrie T. Thank you so much. Your Christmas card's on the way, by the way. Um, so just about the Christmas card thing as well, I'll be just sending random Christmas cards out. Um, I'm kind of limited on how many I can send now. But also I'll be sending out some gift boxes, three gift boxes, mm -hmm. one for anybody who sends anything on PayPal, one for Super Chatters and members, one for um, Patreons, but then... We'll do four then. Fuck it. Yep. The fourth one will be just picking somebody at random from the side chat. Uh, we'll pick yep. a pick a stream next week when we're going to pick the winners because we want them to get it before Christmas. So will we try this? Yeah, let's move on. Um, it's getting late now. Captain well. Crunch. Captain Crunch. Crunch crunchitize me, Captain. Oh, that sounds a bit kind of erotic. Crunchitize me, Captain. Oh. I've never had Captain Crunch. Have you? No. Phil Wilson says, Happy Holidays from Bloomfield, Indiana. Have you ever been to Indiana? Indiana? No. No, I really want to go there for the Indy Speedway. These smell like um, nothing. No? Maybe it's just me. I am a bit choked up today. Hmm. Okay. You ready? You can't really dink them, but... But it tastes like golden nuggets. Golden nuggets. Oh, fuck. Yes. These are good. These are even nicer than golden nuggets. Sorry, nephews. You're not getting any of these. <laughs> now, well, corn I know you're supposed to have it with milk and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but I'm a hand cereal eater. I eat cereal out of my hand. I pour the milk into my hand. Really? Or else, the other way is you eat the cereal and then you pour the milk directly from the bottle into your mouth and you go like... Mm. Ooh, I'm going like to try them. it with milk in the morning. I forgot to get milk on the way home. This is going to be my breakfast before I go off to work tomorrow. We got no milk. Oh, no. We got cows, though. What's Captain Crunch berries? Oh, fuck me. That sounds nice. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Phil, milk. yeah, I'd love that. I'd absolutely love that. Uh, Healing Time is watching from Sunny Australia. What part of Australia are you I watching from? I have always wanted to go visit Australia. My sister... Her sister six... lived like 10 miles away from where I lived in Australia and we didn't even know each other. Too many cuts the roof of your mouth. Yeah, I could, I could see how that's gone. They are so nice. Um, all right, what's next on the list? Twizzlers. Twizzlers. I've heard of these. I've never had one. Yeah, and now I've tried something similar. Wait. Sorry. We have a problem. JSPK 2013 is stalled at 80 subscribers. Come on, Demon Army. Let's do this. Right. Lads and lassies. What I want you to do right now, before we try the Twizzlers, all right? I would love to get JSPK 2013 to 100 subs. Holy shit, they smell good. Oh, you can't eat it yet. 100 subscribers before we try the Twizzlers. I'm definitely oh. gonna bring some Twizzlers to the American, the guy from New York. Oh, yeah, we'll put together a little bag for him if he would allow you to get a film of it during work tomorrow. Like, I, just, I, 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 I licked it and then I realized you put down that fucking stop licking the Twizzlers. Uh, red vines are better. I've never had those either. And all the people are saying that uh, Twizzlers are better than Red Vines. Uh, Americans in the side chat, which is better, Twizzlers or Red Vines? I've seen these in so I'm many movies. These, these are really, no, light? no. These are really, um, don't even fucking think about it, man. These are like typical American movies, tra uh, snacks that they have at the movie theater. Don't even fucking think about it. I can see you eyeing it up. They smell so good. Um, the the channel is linked in the side chat. Hey, fuck off. I can see you on the screen, you dickhead. <laughs> Are you blind? 
<laughs> Mama Bear reckons that Twizzlers <laughs> taste like plastic. We'll find out in a minute. As soon as JSPK gets to 100 subscribers, we're going to have some plastic strawberry stuff. 89. We've only got 11 to go. If we can blast past it, all the better. Um, Try the black Twizzlers. Oh. <laughs> Oh. That's what you get. Black licorice tastes like Jägermeister. It absolutely does. I fucking love Jägermeister. Heather has subscribed. It, he wouldn't be up now, would he? Text your mom there when we get him to 100 and see what, what she says. 95. We got five more to go. He's going to be so happy. He's I'm going just... to text your mom right now. Um, We're about to get to 100 subs on my live stream hopefully she's still awake yeah my phone i have it set so it doesn't tell me who's on and who's off that way then people don't know when i'm on or when i'm on. 99 we got one more to go one more to go you he's may gonna be so happy with hold, oh, he's gonna be over the fucking moon i'll ask your mom to get him to do a video for it oh i'd say we could be there we could be there. Oh, he's got a Christmas thing as his background. That's so cute. Uh, 100 subs. Slancho what? Mild. They're nice, though. Do you like them? They smell stronger than they taste. I was just going to say, if they tasted how they smelled, I would be over dry right now. Five. You can use them as a straw. Fuck off. Give me my Guinness. That was a joke. It was, that was a joke. Oh. <laughs> you know what these will pair up really well with? What? Um, sherbet, baby. What's the mm. difference between red wines and Twizzlers? I gotta get a photograph of the dog for you right now. She's so worn out from play, and she's like, she's got your clothes and stuff all over the floor. Can you see? Ah, oh, you can't really see it on the screen. She's panned out over there. Look at her. Just jump up. Oh, yeah, man. I forgot you were right there. Oh, my goodness. She's so tired. Um, Stop smacking. Actually, your new channel is called Lip Smackers. That's a good way to get the, the taste going, though. Oh, that's me. That's me smacking the right You are I'm sorry. so fucking loud as well. Read the room. Read the room. Read the room. Ship a grip for five bucks. Says if you like peanut butter, and um, peanut butter Captain Crunch is even better. But the top of your mouth will be ripped to shreds. I feel like we need to open those. I feel like we need to open I those. I just don't want to waste them. Will we wait until we're doing a live stream with my mom? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Babe, I'm going to open those when you're at work tomorrow. No, you're not. I'm hiding all the snacks while I'm gone. Joe, you know, I'm kind of I'm kind of into these now already. Darling Pippa is asleep. She is. I really want to try one of these now. Okay, Jolly Rancher. You've never had a Jolly Rancher, have you? No, and blue is always my favorite. Anything. Blue anything. They love your Christmas jumper. Oh, thank you. I get a Christmas jumper every year. Should I tell that joke or not? Oh, can I have that one? Great. Should I tell that joke or not? I don't know. Fuck it, it's harmless. I get a Christmas jumper every year. It's my job to talk them down. Anyway. Can't find the blue ones. Ha -ha. Oh, the smell. Oh, yeah. My mom um, doesn't have teeth. No, she does. That's not true. She had to get new ones, though. Oh. This is purple flavor. What's your one? My one is blue flavored. Raspberry. I think there's a subliminal message to you on the inside of the bag. What does it say? Keep on sucking. Oh, wait, no, my mom's watching. Shh. 
Oh, that stuff won't go bad. Just sealer or put in some rubber made. What's oh. rubber made? Rubber made is like um little tubs. Come on, will you for fuck? Give me that fucking. I'm trying. Thank you, Jesus sir. Jesus Christ, man! It was getting. Oh, that man. smells great. I can just smell your hand. Oh. That's a hell yes for me. That's the 10. We've reached the 10. Yeah. That's quality. Somebody said cherry is awesome. Jennifer. I don't like cherry. Flavor. I love cherry flavor. I love cherries. I don't know. Minnie's trying to play with the puppy and she's trying to get away. <laughs> um. Yeah, I love cherries. I don't like cherry flavored stuff though. Fucking hell, that's good. Yeah. What? What? You put Jolly Ranchers in vodka. Do we have vodka? Not here. We can get some tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Yep, Irish Mammy is my actual mom. Yeah. <laughs> yep, sure is. Oh, actually, I want to show... Oh, I thought she was going to say she had vodka. Oh, okay, how do we how do we make these? We'll make these on the stream with your mom. But this all started out because I wanted to try these. Did you check how to make it? Oh, fuck, we don't have milk. We'll do this on the stream with my mum. That'd be uh, fucking awesome. But you put butter, water, and milk in it. I cannot wait to try these. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. You need milk and butter, Trixie said. <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh, yeah. Albie says, I should have just said a sealed container. Like, where did that one go? Yeah, see, there you go. Get the fucking, get the <laughs> cat crunch. Let's do it. Uh, read the room, chip crit. Can you put that over there for later? You did not just do that. <laughs> I was like, what are you fucking doing? <laughs> that is, baby, stuck to me. For fuck's sake. You got me all sticky. Oh, behave. Behave yourself. Not in front of the puppy. <laughs> she just it's jumped up on the Jolly Rancher's that. soft chews. Oh, no, that is, like, right up my stream. See, I love hard sweets. Amber said classic. Yeah. Just for those who don't know, Amber is Chloe's best friend since they were little kids, like, in real life. Um, Yeah, fucking right. She oh. got me all sticky. Oh, yeah. they smell like the muddy Look at duddies. the size of the fucking box next to her. Smell like the what? The muddy duddies. Muddy duddies. Is that what not they are? What? <laughs> 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 they smell like muddy duddies. Muddy duddies. Is that not what they are? Is that not what? Is that what not they are? Is that what not they are? Muddy buddies. Muddy duddies is what not they are. Yeah. <laughs> now let's have some crunch captains. Shaft. Shaft means. Um... Shaft means yes in Irish. Yeah. Or tall. Think it. Oh, oh yeah. that's a hand food. That's a hand food. I will have my hand in that box all day tomorrow. This is definitely like a mixture between the peanut <laughs> muddy buddies and the <laughs> original Captain Crunch. I love muddy duddies. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to have my hand in that box all day tomorrow. I'm telling you right now. What? Nothing. You're not taking them to work with you. Is that why you're looking at me like that? 
Yeah. Why were you actually looking at me like that? You just tried to put that in your mouth and it fell straight in it, but you just went like this. Just like, yeah. Oh, now it's gone forever. Why were you looking at me like that? Did I do an innuendo again? Yes. Okay. Why was Snap crap up? <laughs> crap. The is cute as a button. That's what she is. And Pop scared. Sure they is. were afraid of the serial killer. I like that. That is a fucking good one. Yeah, this is like sweet popcorn almost. It's fucking lovely. Or oh, Cheetos, that's one of her favorites. Oh, I love dry cereal as a snack. When we went to Spain, the only thing I could eat was croquettes and Cheetos. Cheetos were fucking mayonnaise on them. No, the uh, the cheese Cheetos dipped in mayonnaise. I know people probably find that disgusting. She was but... dipping cheese Cheetos in mayonnaise. And I messaged my mom a video. I was like, can you fucking believe this sociopath that I'm on holidays with right now? She's dipping Cheetos in mayonnaise. And the first thing my mom sent back was, she's pregnant, I betcha. I was like, no, she's just crazy. Why can Chloe not eat proper food? Oh, I couldn't when I was on holiday. Oh, yeah. I had esophagitis. She had esophagitis, so she couldn't eat or swallow. So she had to have all the sauce. In the food. US, we don't use mayo as a dip like other countries. What do they use mayo for then? Put it on sandwiches or. I don't use mayo as a dip. I do. You do, I don't. I love ranch. Where my mouth? There's Cheetos popcorn. I have had that. Is it nice? Yeah. Yeah. Michael John Dennis says, I know someone who loves cheese and jam. That is fucking not that bad, actually, because it's kind of like having, um, like, I love chili jam with a really good cheese. Um, I never stop what? What have I done now? My mom always gives out to me. Mike seventy one for five dollars says, uh, "Let go of me, lucky charms." See, the same shit. I have to read anything they put in the fucking super chats. Um, read the room, hypocrite for five dollars says, it, "I was almost embarrassed to include Kraft mac and cheese. Please don't get your hopes up. It costs less than a buck per box for a reason. See, it, it's the experience. Why that's why you want it. Yeah." Um, get that into your langer. Thank you so much, Cass. Getting it into Bobby me right Williams now. says, I know you got to be kidding me, Chloe. I dip a lot of stuff in mayo, and Cheetos are awesome with mayo. So it's not just you. I'm with you, Bobby. My favorite is garlic mayonnaise, or aioli, some people will call it. Aioli is different to garlic mayonnaise, isn't it? Aioli just, oh, well, yeah. Well, a lot of people call garlic mayo aioli. Uh, where the fuck are you putting your box? If you review Lucky Charms, I will brace for the rant. I'll do it. I'll fucking do it. I'm not into spicy food either. No, we don't get Girl Scout cookies over here. No, and I always hear people going on about... What's what's a Girl Scout cookie called? Well, I've had Girl Scout cookies before. It's a type of cannabis. No, what's Oh, that? shit, my mom's watching. Teresa Brewer for two pounds says a mayo and tomato sauce is nice mixed. Yeah, I would call that... Yeah. Um, burger sauce? Some people call it burger sauce. Um, I just call it pink sauce. French fries and tartar sauce. Would you believe... I've never... We were only talking about this today at a meeting, right? So there's this old um, place in the city that we used to go to when we were kids called Matty Kylie's. And Mr. Kylie had this little chip shop. Uh -huh. He was a cranky old bugger, but he was lovely. And all you could get was chips, um, battered sausages, batter burgers, and battered fish. Mm -hmm. And the only condiment he had was salt, vinegar, and tartar sauce. So we used to get chips with tartar sauce. And we went in there the other day because they, they it was closed for about 15 years because he passed away. And uh, that looks like that camera is about to fall, by the way. And um, went in there the other day and they fucked it up. They tried to make it all groovy and modern and they fucked it up. So I want a cranky old man with tartar sauce, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Lemon Tart has been a member for four months. Says, thank you for being you, Demon, you rock, and you. Um, we got that one. Thank you very much. 
Uh, we got that one. I think we got them all. Yep. Got all the lucky charms. <laughs> um. Ah, oh, JJ didn't get a notification that I was live again. I've been getting a lot of messages Somebody about said that, he man. He also had pies, Dermot Costello. Oh, did he have pies as well, Cos? But he never did burgers. I know that. But he was a lovely old man. He It's right across the way from Smith's Toy Shop. And we were passing there the other day, and I was like, oh, my God, Matty Kiley's is open again. Do you know the only thing they have in there reminding you of Matty Kiley is this tiny, shitty, little, overly artsy picture? That's it. The food is completely different. It's horrible. Uh, Twizzlers are better, especially, especially, I sound like fucking chili, especially mm. the black licorice. My, my mom, mom used to put jelly, jelly on pizza. I've had jelly pizzas. The gummy pizzas, the thin gummy pizzas. You know what's another thing I must try? You know, peanut butter and jelly. Is that different to peanut butter and jam? Obviously. Do you know what the difference between jelly and jam is? No, 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 no. What? Go on, go ahead, say it. <laughs> Do you know the difference between jelly and jam? No. So jelly is generally, it's made out of um, artificial pectins. So it's like a thicker consistency, whereas jam is a more runny consistency. It's made of natural pectins. So I never, when I, I make a lot of jam, I say that as if it's like a weekly thing. But when, when, because we have a lot of wild fruit on the farm, apples and figs and blackberries and all that kind of stuff. So I make a lot of jam with natural <laughs> pectins. Robert Kennedy says jam don't shake like that. Jelly is oh, made of jelly. jelly. Jelly is fruit juice and pectin. The jam has actual fruit. Thank you. That's exactly what I just said. You thought I was going to say a dirty joke about how you can jam your willy up somebody's something, but you can't jelly it. Yes. That's disgusting. That's exactly what you were going to say. I could see it in your eyes. That is a lie. I resent that. I was just trying to give a bit of education to the people. Education. Oh, there's one other thing we have yet to try today. This is the last Fuck thing. Fuck yes. Chocolate Twizzlers. I've had turkey Twizzlers. Do you know there's a thing called turkey Twizzlers? No. Whiskey cubes. Whiskey cubes. <laughs> you got my attention. <laughs> what about preserves or marmalade? No, you can't marmalade your willy up somebody's arse either. Oh, I don't My know. mom just... Paid thousands and thousands of euro for new teeth the other day. So oh. I don't think she'd appreciate that. What the fuck? It's alive. It's <laughs> alive. <laughs> oh, somebody said you need a spoon. Oh, that's good. Oh, is it good? It would be nice in a sandwich. Oh, yeah. So apparently the way to have it. Go on, fuck it. Apparently the way the right way to have it is in between a slice in a slice spread. Do you want to go get a, a, a knife or a spoon? I have some Oh, that's good. I feel like the name of this bread brand would be considered racist in some countries for some reason, or to people with blue hair. Um Irish Pride. That's our uh, our bread of choice. Our Brennan's sometimes today's bread today. A sandwich, apparently. Apparently, you have it in a sandwich. But yeah, that's our bread of choice. Irish Pride sponsors this video. No, it definitely doesn't. Babe, why is your arse like that? Your shirt is like, yeah, God, what was going on there? You could probably taste your fucking top there. <laughs> what? What? What are you? What are you going to do with that? For fuck! Hold on. Yeah. Do we layer it on thick? Well, how do you do it? I wouldn't do it too thick. Raymond is saying don't put it on bread. Some people call it, saying it's called a fluffer. Or oh, hagen ice cream, yeah. hagen Oh, we don't have peanut butter, do we? No. Peanut butter is not a very common thing in Ireland. To be yeah, I mean, you can get it. You can get peanut butter. But not that many people like it. Hold on. Are you sure we don't have peanut butter? I'm sure we ate what? the last bit. <sighs> She's a bad sandwich maker. Oh, it has a mind of its own. That's why you were struggling with it. Oh, fuck. My mom's going to actually give out to me for that. 
Oh yeah, and this Don't looks like basic me. It's not sharp. That looks just like my dad, by the way. Just wanted to say. It kind of actually it only looks like somebody said scream too. And sliced bananas. I did get you bananas for your lunch tomorrow. Sounds really good. This would be a really good stand in glue. Okay. You got fluff all over your face. You got white stuff all over your lips. Go on, give me some sangage. Slaw chat. Slaw chat. Not in a sandwich. Mm -mm. Maybe on a biscuit. It's the textures. Texturally, that's that ain't it. That was what Elvis liked to eat. What? Peter butter and jelly sandwiches. Yeah, no. Apparently it needs the peanut butter. We'll have to redo this with peanut butter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, don't take another bite. It needs peanut butter and banana. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll redo that, so. Mm -hmm. We will redo that. Fuck, that's good, though. When my daughter went to college in Limerick, I had to send her peanut butter. Oh, no way. That's really cool. I didn't know she went to college in Limerick. That's cool. Elvis' favorite sandwich. Somebody Peanut said, butter, banana, and bacon. I could see that working. Somebody said mix the fluff with chocolate. I think I would literally just die of instant diabetes. No, use that fluff with Nutella. Do I look like Chili de Castro to you? Do you know about the Nutella incident? Putting that on the handle. Yeah, you have. Fluff it. Use the Captain Crunch. Oh, on a pancake. I'm just getting so Oh, my God. The diabetes. I'm going to lose a leg. Like, there's no question about it. I'm, I'm losing my vision as we speak. Dermot reckons on a pancake. And we always make bleans, as we call them. Mini pancakes. You heathens don't have peanut butter easily accessible. No, we do. It's very easily accessible here. Like, most shops have it. Just, it's just not, it's just not that common. Yeah, yeah. Like, for us... For us, bread is for savory unless you're having jammy toast Ugh. what if we put that in a hot chocolate oh yeah fuck yes um oh yeah somebody said we can make s'mores with it see we don't we don't have graham crackers do we what what are graham crackers made out of yes you what's a s'more and what is a graham cracker i've seen it on movies so it's like uh Marshmallow. Oh, it's like a fucking tuck, but without the cheesy flavor. Yeah, but no, I think graham crackers have a different texture. I'm not sure. Mm. We'll Cream have to see. cheese and marshmallow fluff for a fruit dip. Fondue. That, pot. That's a lot of words. What? Hold on. Say it again. Cream cheese and marshmallow fluff for a fruit dip. I think like a fondue. No. Hey, good to see you, Mrs. Collins. We used to go riding motorcycles together in Australia. Happy fucking days. I was just thinking about you today. Um, remember that helmet I painted with the flames on it? That just came up on my Instagram earlier. It's Graham Crackers chocolate. Who's Graham? And why is he making crackers? Crackers. Graham. I think you pronounce that. That's how my uncle calls. My, I've got a cousin called Graham, and my uncle pronounces it Graham. Yeah. <laughs> Best made outdoors over a campfire. What? Cousins? Put it on a pancake with strawberry. I will do that. I will fucking do that. Dad joke. A guy came out. Go up. A guy came by asking for donations for the community pool, so I gave him a glass of water. A glass of what? Water. Water. Glass of water. Uh, Sandy D for five bucks says, what outside of a stereotype is a standard Irish common food, one main dish and one dessert? So it would depend really, wouldn't it? So most of the food that we would eat um, on a day-to-day -day basis wouldn't actually be Irish at all. Like pastas and curries. It, it just depends on whereabouts you're from. Like my dad's family live in the countryside and they would have um, some form of either, either boiled or roasted meat. To be MTVs, meat and two veg. Boiled potatoes and some kind of veg. 
Like Dermot points out a good one there. Like a very common cork delicacy would be drasheen and tripe. Drasheen is a blood sausage, not a black pudding. Uh -huh, it's a uh -huh. very different thing. Blood sausage with a sheep's stomach lining boiled in milk. Mm -hmm. Or crew beans, which would be pig's feet boiled with potatoes and turnip. Or my personal favorite, a cork delicacy, uh, bodice, which is corned pork ribs boiled until the meat has fallen off the bone. You have to be able to pick it up by the bone and the meat falls off. Um, boiled up with the potatoes and turnip. And nothing else. What about... Um... Bacon and cabbage, can't go wrong. We don't eat corned beef. No. It's not a thing. Corned beef, corn beef and cabbage is referred to as a typical Irish dish. It's not. It's a typical Irish American dish. What about tapioca? Tapioca? Hmm. What the fuck is tapioca? It's like a porridge. We don't eat that in Ireland. Speak to who? No, we fucking don't. Well, you're not Irish, so I mean. Oh, babe. She was a fart. That was you. Oh, yeah. Um, do you have. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Brilliant. Oh, yeah, Martin, Martin, Martin. Where's Martin gone? I must text you. Will you actually, will you text me somewhere wherever you can get in touch with me? Where did Martin go? But anyway, Martin was saying spiced beef. It's a cork delicacy. We're going to have some on Christmas. It's only at Christmas we have it. Uh, Martin, do you want to come on a sting with me maybe tomorrow if you're free? If you're if you're not busy. We're going to talk about that here in a minute. Um, I'm just waiting for my blood sugars to go back down. Um, <laughs> there's two things. So the first one is I want to... Is Kerry Gold really Irish? Oh, but, uh, yes. Yeah. Kerry Gold... If you're into bodybuilding or like it's everywhere. If you're into bodybuilding or ketogenic diets, Atkins, they all espouse Kerry Gold and there's Kerry Made as well. They are from here and they're the best butter. Or dairy now, I gold. make dairy gold is another one. I make my own butter quite often. I would say that it's not really the dishes we have that would be like traditional Irish, but it's the ingredients we it's put in. It's the ingredients, exactly. So like the dairy gold or Kerry gold butter, um, Pat the Baker bread or Irish. Pat the Baker or Irish pride bread. Um, um, potatoes. Good potatoes. Like I know it's a, it's a, it's an old trope about Irish people and potatoes. The fact of the matter is we know a good potato when we have one. Like a Kerr's Pink or... And like, we do use a lot of potatoes. We do use a lot, yeah. Like There's a lot of people probably couldn't will... tell you different types of potato. Like we we know. Yeah. But, we have new potatoes. But it's mostly like uh, roosters. Uh, red roosters are very popular. Or Kerr, red roosters, Kerr Pinks. Ma'am, if you're still watching, what's a good fluffy potato? Like, And that's the thing. There's one kind of potato that you would use for roast potatoes or chips, like French fries. Then mm. a totally different type, like a russet or something like that, then for mash. Yeah. Um, just depends. Oh, uh, what are the flowery potatoes? Russets. Yeah, are they russets, but there's another name for them as well. There's Oh, the white potatoes. Um... Yeah, they're like a fluffy white potato. You steam them and the skin kind of peels off yeah. and they're like a fluffy, flowery kind of. They are. The nicest potato I've ever had is called a kipfler or a finger potato. They're kind of long. Yeah. They taste like they already have butter in them. They're fucking amazing. Uh, more, uh, yeah. Moore's Pipers. Maris Pipers. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Maris I Piper. knew Amber would know that. She's a fine country girl. Maris Pipers. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Amber. I knew you. Maris would get Piper that. are the finest potatoes, but you can only get them for about one month of the year when they're at their best. Mm -hmm. um, Maris favorite. Pipers are fucking amazing. Yeah. Fingerling potatoes or Kipfler. Uh, I think, is Kipfer the German for a finger? That would make sense. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, I would fucking love some of those. Like, it's so Irish, but like even when we went to primary school, um, we'd have like small primary schools. Like I only had 32 people in my whole primary school, which would be what in America? God, you went to a big school. There's a, there's a primary school out the road. What would primary school be in America? Elementary. Um, um, so primary school would be from four years old to twelve. That'd be elementary school, wouldn't it? Hmm. 
and then you go to junior high, I think, and then high school. I think that's it. Um, but we would always, our principal would always bring us out into the garden and the 30 of us would plant potatoes in little yeah. planters. And then after a couple of months, we'd all get um, a little brown paper bag filled with the potatoes. Martin, 32 was his class size. My class size in primary school, I went to, what fucking school did I go to? My my first primary school was um I remember I brought you up there to show you mm -hmm. Scullin Spridnev, which means the school of the Holy Spirit. There was sixty four kids in my class. When I moved down here to the country, there was thirteen kids in my school. It was a lot more now in the primary, in the national school. Yeah, there's school. a few more in the national school that I was in now, but at the time there was five of us in a class there was classes with only two or one person in it my dad went to the same school as martin the north man north monastery up in the north side yeah yeah that's around a long time um anyway so a couple of things um wait a minute you hold the fort there a sec you just start reading yeah, out my high comments. school had about um 1800 when i graduated well my secondary school from so from 12 to 18 it would have had about a thousand probably less probably around 900 what about your secondary school mine was a big secondary school to be fair but definitely i think it's the primary schools that tend to stay a lot smaller especially like country primary schools Um, in California, my kids' old school, my kids' old elementary school had 40 plus students in a class. That's crazy to me. Well, see, we only had two classrooms. So we had from junior infants. So the way it would work here is junior infants at four, and then you'd have senior infants, first class, second class, third class, and we'd have all of them in one classroom. And then you'd have third class, fourth class, fifth class, and sixth class in a second classroom. What way did yours work? Did you have separate um, classrooms for? Depends. Just sorry, one sec there. And just on something really. Um, you keep at it there, sir. So. Somebody said often two per chair, which was really weird. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Um... Hopefully this will come up here. Yes, it does. What is this? Oh, you're about to find out. You're about to find out. Oh, wait, no, never mind about that. Right, lads and lassies in the side chat. I am inevitably going to get center of a nuclear explosion levels of heat for this, but I don't give a shite. Who wants to see... And this was sent to me by Chile. I know people are going to have a problem with that because uh, of what happened with that email the other night. But legit, I vetted it and it could only have come from him. I feel like maybe he sent it to me by accident. Who wants to see the grand premiere of a video from Chile's new channel? Me. All right. I am going to change the title of this video. No, I'm not, because then people watching back won't know what this is about. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just going to rip the paper off. I was trying to be really quiet there, but it didn't You're work. all good. All right. So, lads and lassies, do you want to see, and this isn't uh, satire or anything, this is legit. This is legit. And it came from Chile, so it is fucking legit. Despite my error, which I freely admit the other day. I was pissed when I realized that I fucked up that bad, wasn't I? Mm -hmm. But I actually rang you at work. I was like, babe, I fucked up. You were like, what? And I was like, that email I sent, uh, that email that um, I sent to you, the screenshot, 
It's and it really actually got you quite down because you didn't want anybody to feel. Like yeah, no, I was pissed. I was pissed because I was like, shit, like people rely on me to to share that stuff, honestly. And somebody said, Mrs. Demon, Jolly Ranchers are not quite candy. True story. True story. So this has never before been seen on YouTube. Um, and yeah, you all are seeing this for the first time. So. Before I get started, because I think this is something that needs to be seen by a lot of people, right? If you're in any groups on Facebook or Discord or anywhere where people would like to see this kind of stuff, then share it now because it's going to be coming down off the channel because I am going to get some fucking heat for this. So be prepared. So you ready? It's only 11 minutes long. Will we give it a few minutes for people? Actually, yeah, message? yeah, we'll give it a few minutes. We'll give it a few minutes. Um, now, I also found out some information that he sent to the person who's going to be editing this for him. Okay? Mm -hmm. Baby, on a live stream. Tarlin. You just farted that loud on a oh, live stream. Jesus, that stinks. Yeah, why did you do it then? Fuck, babe. Like, god damn, have we got any spray or anything? I better move that knife, actually. That's kind of... Oh, I got fucking fluff it all over the counter. I don't know what you're complaining about. I'll have to clean it. Oh, that. babe, you're stinking. Come on, man. Um, Yeah, tell everybody, because this is going to get good. Um, Anyway, here's a bit of insider information for you. Chili... And I've seen this with my own eyes, so I know this for a fact. Um, he was in contact with a new editor for these videos. And in his email to, these, to this new editor, he told them that they can make fake phone calls, fake in-person clips to make it seem real. Uh, again. Apparently, I missed the yellow super chat. I'll get back to that in a minute. My mom is watching hard, man. Read the room, Chipocrit for ten dollars. Says, I hope this won't offend anyone. I weigh three hundred pounds, so there's that. And uh, now you know why Americans struggle with obesity, high sugar, and fat in large boxes are the same. Yeah, I can understand that for sure. And is I think it's a bit kind cheaper. Of average portion size for like sweets and stuff. Oh, two seconds, uh, Sean O'Sullivan. For two euros, said cork grub was never the same after Hoggies closed. Absolutely right. Hoggies, you walk past me like, Mr. Hargan, do you have any chips left? You go, of course I do. Go, That's what you get for making too many. And then run away. That's what my dad used to do. Um, oh, I just saw it. Sorry about that. Read the room. My apologies. I jumped over because of the butter question. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Tell your wives, your husbands, all that kind of stuff. Um, anyway, so he sent an email to this guy telling him that he was totally okay with uh, with him, with him, uh, what would you say, making shit up, basically. Um, who wants to see the email? What do we reckon? Or should I do this on a different stream? I think you because should. I feel like people are having a problem with me and emails at the moment, and that's fine. I can understand that. But I, I feel like you should end this stream and, and restart and, it and on the chili one. What do you guys reckon? Will I end this stream? Because people would get notifications then with the title name and kind of know what that's a fair point. And that's not like fuck off, Siri. Not you, Siri. You're cool. This Siri is an arsehole. Yeah, no, you got a good point there. I'll that's exactly what I'll do. Um yeah. And I'll just do a, a very short, like a 20 minute stream while you go to bed. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. So give me a few minutes and I'll come back on second live. Give me a half an hour. Is that okay with you? No, 20 minutes. You won't need half an hour. No, but I need to go and get the place ready for tomorrow and get my clothes ready for the morning. And then I'll come back and I'll do a stream while you're in bed. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I'm going to show you this epic fucking video that nobody has seen before. 
All right, lads and lassies. Well, thank you so much. And can I just give a massive warm thank you? Um, and, and, and like, I'll leave you say yours in a second, but a massive thank you uh, to Lucy. Um, I really, really do appreciate it. It was fucking awesome. Thank you so much thank indeed. You. And it was a lot it really of fun doing it. And the kids are going to love it. My mammy's going to love it. Your mom's going to love it. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much. And yeah, we'll catch up with you. Give me about a half an hour uh, and I'll be back. I'll be back. So keep your eyes out. Go tell fucking everybody, and um, we'll see you later. Thank you so much, Bobby Williams. Good night, my dear. Well, good. You know, she's saying good night to you. I'm not going anywhere. You all right? Um. Oh, oh, good night. Sorry, I just got distracted by the side trap. Yes, um, Alana, I'd love it if you can get him to send it to me. Um, IrishDemonVids at gmail .com. Or Irish Demon Army at gmail.com. That'd be fantastic. I'd happily play that. Um, and I'd be very much obliged. Good That'd night, be fantastic. Guys. Thank you so much indeed. And uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you guys here in about a half an hour. And I'll see you then. Slan chat. Slan chat. Slan chat. Slan chat. You're so cute. Good night. Good night.